Let's bring in our uh, first guest of this hour. Howie Fook is back with us, CIO, Chief Investment Officer at uh, DBS Bank, joining Shri and I live around the desk here at the SGX. Howie Fook, good morning. Great to see you again, right, and, and welcome back. So just out with your Q2 outlook, what's in store? So the title of that outlook is The Broadening Rally. So we think that uh, whatever we have seen in 2023 and the first quarter of 2024, that momentum can continue. Okay. So obviously, 2023 was you know, dominated by big tech. They call it the Magnificent Seven, yeah. uh, as well as first quarter. But I think going forward, uh, we continue to like technology. Our core overweight is there. But I think some of the value sectors will catch up, yeah. in particular energy. You know, energy has been... Uh, doing badly you know it was 15 years ago uh 15 percent of the s p index today is less than four and with uh, stock oil prices between 70 to 80 dollars pretty resilient in the last uh one to two years we think the earnings of uh, both integrated oil and oil services companies will will do well so we we do think uh, energy stocks can do a uh, comeback too early to think about uh, uh potential uh, Trump 2.0 presidency in November being good for energy, U.S. energy? Well, that will be in November. So I think between now and then, we'll see. Uh, too you know, early. Yeah, a little bit too premature to comment on that one. Yeah. But uh, th there is sufficient room. I think the macroeconomics are, uh, you know, of that of a soft landing. So if you kind of look at it historically, in a period where uh, the Fed cuts, cuts rates gradually amid a soft landing, it's very constructive for risk assets. Yeah. Well, in a, in a period where the Fed aggressively cut rates, that's not so good. That's not good, at, in fact, because it, it infers a hard landing. So we had that in GFC 2000 uh, and 8. We have that in the dot-com bubble in 2000. What, what is your base case, though, uh, for this year from the Fed? Still three or fewer cuts? I think three cuts is, yeah. is about right, yeah. Okay. Wait, folk, is it concerning that we haven't seen a sizable correction for many months and what do you think could be the catalyst for for a correction would that constitute a healthy pullback that you would want to uh, capitalize on yeah i think uh, there, there is too much money sitting on the sidelines uh, lots of investors uh, you know customers have missed out why because uh, treasury bills you know fixed deposits are pretty attractive at about four to five percent uh, but I think as a Fed cut rates, there is this reinvestment risk in cash deposits, which not many people are kind of, uh, you know, appreciate. But, you know, as they cut rates, your, you know, whenever you roll over your deposits, your treasury bills, you find that your returns will be much less. Which I think that's probably uh, will be the next phase. I think that's why we, we are constructive of the market. We think uh, more and more cash will get back into the, you know, risk assets. Uh, it started with investment grade bonds. I think that's a sweet spot. Uh, we think, uh, you know, as the you know, year progresses, the yield curve will steepen. I mean, Fed cut rates. At the same time, huge deluge of uh, supply of treasuries. But therefore, the long end is probably a little bit exposed, uh, you know, to, to upward pressure. So we really like the shorter end of the market. Uh, it's anchored on the Fed funds rate, on Fed's policy. So three to five years is really a sweet spot. Uh, for, for the bond uh, portfolio. And better than 